Google Gemini just launched brand new updates for Notebook LM, Google Calendar, Google AI Studio, and so much more. By the end of this video, you're gonna know what all those changes are and how you could use them to increase your productivity. Now, the first change we need to talk about is Notebook LM just got a powerful, goal-focused AI research partner upgrade. Here's essentially how this works. So, if we scroll down a little bit, we could see what actually happens. So, this is what happens when you use Notebook LM. You hit a query like what we could see right here. There's then a notebook LM retrieving and ranking process, and then they go through and actually give you the output. Now, essentially what this upgrade is, is you can now come through and change how it's retrieving things and how it's actually ranking things. And the way that you're gonna do this is by coming into configure chat and customizing how it should actually respond. So what does this actually look like on notebook LM? You were going to pull something up. For example, I have my Yellowstone notebook right here. You were gonna come over here to configure notebook and then then you'll be able to click on custom right here and you can add up to 500 different characters customizing what you actually want this to do. For example, you could get it to customize the style. You could get it to customize the role that it's playing. You could get it to even know what the goal of your project is. Maybe you're trying to learn about Yellowstone. Or maybe you were trying to make a YouTube video about Yellowstone or a podcast about Yellowstone. This will actually then change how this goes through and configures everything in the back end and takes into consideration all these different sources that you have in order to actually give you a way better output. In addition to that, a few other things that I did want to call to your attention. Now, if you come over to Discover, you can discover things both from the web and from your Google Drive. And if you don't know exactly what you want to discover, just click on I'm feeling curious right here, and it will actually go through and discover sources for you on the web. And then you can go through them, you could choose the ones that you like, you could add them into your notebook, and you could see how that actually changes things. In addition to that, what we can actually see is that if we come over here, and let's say that we ask something to Notebook OM, you can now come over here and refresh the chat if you wanted to, or you could see a history of your chat. And this is a massive upgrade because I'm sure if you've used this before, you may not have gotten the response that you wanted, or maybe you wanted to save something and you wanted to be able to reference it, you can now do that by just clicking on save to notes right here. And then what's going to happen is this is going to go over here and this is actually going to add this response right here. So if you ever get a response that you like from Notebook OM, make sure that you're saving it to your notebook. Now, if I click on refresh right here, we could come over here and I could clear my chat history, but this note actually stays here so I can always reference it, which is incredibly important. In addition to that, I could always convert this over to a source if I wanted to. Now the next Gemini upgrade is actually going to be available under AI Studio. So now if you come over into AI Studio, you're going to see that you can build out apps. For example, I recently built out an app in order to get video feedback on YouTube videos, TikTok, and Instagram posts. And we could see that this is built out right here. So I could come over here. I could actually upload a video. For example, we could upload this video right here, then automatically generates a prompt. I click on generate feedback, and then this goes through, passes it along to Gemini, it analyzes the video, and it gives me feedback on what I did right in my video versus what I did wrong in my video. And we can see that this does take a few seconds in order to actually do this because it's watching a 33 second video in order to actually give me feedback on it. And what I could do from here is I could come over here and I can actually download this app right here. And then I could put it in any vibe coding tool that I want in order to add it on to my website. I wouldn't recommend that you have apps live inside of AI Studio right now because it's not the best experience for you to be able to change things or you to actually be able to operate an app out of here. But we could see exactly what this is and then again, come over here, download it, or we could save it to GitHub and then we could have whatever vibe coding tool that we use actually pull it from there and it just built that app that's powered by Gemini. Now, that is new, but what is really new under here is now if you come under here, under dashboard, you're going to be able to see logs and data sets right here. What this allows you to see is what people are saying and the output that they're getting when they use your tool. As we could see here, we could see I've already had a bunch of different people use my tool and I could see all the inputs that they put and then I could see the output, I can control the costs, I could see the usage and billing, I could see the change log and all of that all 
from one location. Now before we get into the rest of those new Gemini features that you need to make sure that you're using to increase your productivity, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Now the next Google Gemini update is that if you come over into settings over here, you're now going to see personal context right here. So when you click on this, this will allow you to enable your past chats with Gemini so it will actually be able to reference them and instructions that you have added into Gemini and then if you want to change anything here you literally just click on add right here and you could come over here and tell it anything that you want to remember. This is very similar to memory for ChatGPT, except you were able to customize it. And like I said, this will also allow you to learn from past chats and understand what you're actually doing. In addition to that, this also takes into consideration your Gemini apps activity. So I would strongly suggest you have this turned on, you have this turned on, and then make sure that you add in anything else that's custom in here. And one really smart thing that you could do is actually come over to Gemini and say, based on how I do follow up prompts with you, what instructions should I include in my Gemini instructions to get better results the first time? And then what this will actually do is go through figure out how you're re-prompting Gemini in order to change things. For example, I'm always telling it to get rid of M dashes and things like that. And then I can put those into those custom instructions and I won't ever have to ask it to do that again. Now, the next update that I want to show you is actually going to be to Google Calendar. So what you're going to be able to do now is you're going to be able to automatically turn on use Gemini meeting notes every time you book a meeting inside of Google Calendar. Now, in order to actually get this to show up, you do have to change the settings a little bit. So here's what you want to make sure that you do. If we come over to my calendar, I am going to put on a dummy meeting right here, and I'm going to add in a Google Meet right here, and then we could come over here and save this. Now, you'll see that we don't actually see that AI Gemini thing enabled here. In order to do it, I'm going to have to click on the settings right here. I could come over into meeting recordings, and I need to make sure that all of this is turned on. Just select the language, the meeting, all of that jazz. You'll You'll then be able to save this and then you'll actually be able to see the ability to automatically turn this on for every meeting that you use so you don't have to pay for another tool in order to record your meetings transcribe them or anything like that and we'll automatically share it with any guests that you have on here and it'll be saved to your drive and then what's really powerful is if you come back over to gemini and you come over here and you see your connected apps you can come down here and you can connect your google drive and then guess what you'll be able to access all of your different meeting notes all directly from inside of Gemini. Now, the next Gemini feature that is incredibly powerful is now if you're inside of a document right here, for example, a script that I have for a YouTube video, we could click on Gemini right here and you can now add in sources. You can reference sources from inside of this document or you can reference sources from inside of your drive. So if I come over here and click on this, I can actually add another script as a source and then guess what? I can say to this, hey, please change this script to be like this script's format. Or another thing that's incredibly powerful is, let's say that I have a brief for a brand, I could come over here, I could begin to create something, click on refine right here, and then I can modify it right here with Gemini, but I can actually get it to use another brief or something like that as the prompt right here so that I don't have to have the brief open and then take it into consideration when I'm writing or have two screens open or have it be really confusing. I could literally just get it to reference it right here. I can prompt it and it could go off and make whatever change that I want. In addition to that, if you have a gem built out, for example, that's trained in this situation on how I like to script my YouTube videos, we could actually use this gem inside of here so we don't have to go to Gemini and then copy and paste it and bring it over to the doc. And then in addition to that, the last thing that you can do here is you can now come over to Gemini if you're inside of a presentation right here and you can actually get this to take action for you. For example, you could have it create a slide, you could have it add a summary slide, or what I actually find to be the most powerful is we can come over here and click on generate image and we can prompt this and it will generate whatever image you need 
for your PowerPoint so that you don't have to go find the image and it's very easy for you to be able to add in a specific style here for you to be able to change whatever aspect ratio you want and for you to be able to create or be able to edit images directly from inside of here. So basically, Nano Banana and Imagen now live inside of these presentations. And if you're not using all these new Gemini upgrades, you're not gonna be anywhere near as productive as you could be because these can help you drastically cut down on how much time you spend doing your work. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs, or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have a special launch pricing right now, so if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI, and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this video right here that walks you through seven other five free Gemini features that just got released that you probably haven't heard of yet. I'll see you over there.